Welcome back everybody to Copycat Chef. I am your host, JC Catalano, and on this channel, we look to be your guide for cooking, baking, and beverages for the busy bodybuilder. And today, we have a recipe out of Mark Bittman's How to Bake Everything cookbook. So, this is actually gonna be a banana oat cookie. Um, and this is kind of the final product for you guys to be able to see. Okay, so for me on this recipe, it's uh, it's on page 146. Just turn to it. Page 147, sorry, banana oatmeal cookies. So there's kind of a little bit of a rundown. So once again, what I really like about this uh, baking cookbook is that they give you a very, very basic recipe that I think at a novice level, you should be able to, to execute pretty well. And they give you just a few different kind of variations to go with it. Uh, particularly for this one, what I really liked was uh, chocolate chip cookies. Might make that one later. But for these ones, this is the standard banana oatmeal. Pretty much took the recipe, cut everything down by half just so I could try it to see what, how good it is. And I have to admit, what I really like about these cookies from this recipe is that it was relatively basic. It's probably the best way I would use it. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Um, it does take a little bit more time. It says about 30 minutes. It's gonna take a little more than that, I think, about probably 35 minutes. Um, this is flourless, so it's not gonna give you that traditional cookie. It's a lot flour, it's more of a flourless cookie. And uh, it definitely kind of crumbles. It doesn't really have a whole lot of structure. Um, if you guys can kind of see it, it it's uh, definitely kind of gooey and, you know, the toasted oats, I think, is kind of a nice addition by, by Mark Bittman. Um, which makes it a little bit of a different recipe, but overall though, I would say it's it's a very solid, good recipe. It's definitely gonna give you that kind of toasted oat versus a normal oat type of taste. Uh, the banana comes through really well, a little bit of cinnamon on, obviously on the, uh, the back end. And, you know, I definitely think this is a great recipe for you. If uh, you're a fan of bananas, fan of that kind of oats, especially uh, getting those nice, good complex carbs with the oats. Uh, so this is definitely one I would recommend. Um, the sizes aren't too big, so these are a really good snack for the middle of the day. And with that, giddy up.